Hi Turnip, so I have a really special treat for you guys today and it's going to be my apricot macaron filling and it's going to highlight the flavor of your macaron shell which goes perfect with your pistachio or your rose macaron. So getting started, we are going to have our whole milk and then I'm adding in my granulated sugar and it's a very simple recipe and we are just going to mix them together and then there's going to be a lot of mixing but don't worry, it's going to be really simple and short. So the next step, we are going to add in our cream. I'm using whipping cream, but I definitely recommend getting heavy whipping cream because it's better in texture and it's drier. Right now, the whipping cream is kind of watery and that does not hold as well for your macaron filling. And then, of course, we are going to use our apricot. Make sure your apricot is ripe or it's going to taste a little bit sour. And you definitely want your macaron filling to be naturally sweet. And a quick tip for you guys, if you guys leave the skin off your apricot, it's going to create that beautiful spotted look in your macaron filling. And I'm just going to add it in into my blender bottle and we'll blend it to make it a puree. And for those who are not familiar with making a puree, um, definitely check out um, the instructions in the description box down below because it's not shown in the video. And we are just going to add in our puree uh, into our cream filling and we are just going to mix well. And give this video a thumbs up if you really like the peachy color. So for this macaron filling, I decided to step it up and be a little bit fancy, like treat yourself. And I'm just adding a bit of um, lint white chocolate instead of white candy melts. But if you guys have white candy melt, feel free to use that. And it's definitely going to make your macaron filling really sweet and it goes really well with apricot, the flavor. So get that chocolate in there and just mix really well. And you guys can see that it's thickening up. And if you think that your batter is a bit too runny, you guys can add cornstarch, um, it will make it thicker. And you guys could definitely add in um, confection sugar because it will just dry it out a bit and it's going to become thicker as well. And then we are just going to pour our macaron filling um, into our pastry bag so that we can pipe. And just let your macaron filling um, sit in the fridge for at least 6 hours or overnight and then it will be ready the next day. So I'm just going to pipe my macaron filling onto my roast macarons. And I've made a tutorial, a really easy tutorial on how to make these super delicious rose macarons in my previous video, so definitely check it out. And the best part about this macaron filling is that it definitely highlights the flavor of the macaron shell. And especially since rose is a very light and elegant flavor, you guys definitely do not want like something like chocolate ganache in your macaron filling because that would just ruin the macaron. And let me feed you guys right in the camera. Here you go. Ah. Uh... Just kidding, I'm going to eat this myself, right in front of you guys. I know, I know, I'm super awful, so definitely share this video with your awful friends so that they could also cry internally. Hey turnips, I hope you guys enjoyed this super short and easy tutorial on how to make the apricot macaron filling. And I hope you guys liked this new outro video, I worked really hard on it. And it's really pretty, and I think that it definitely suits my channel better. As for those who haven't subscribed yet, definitely hit that subscribe button for more sweet adventures every week and you guys definitely need to add some sweetness to your life. And don't forget that I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so follow me there. And until next time, bye!